Flooding along the Brazos River in late May devastated nearby communities for weeks. Brazos Bend State Park was hit hard and forced to close its gates for over six weeks, but they're back open and meteorologist John Dawson went to check them out. <music> To the average visitor that came out here, you'd probably come around in the park and other than looking at some water lines on some trees, you may not even know that we flooded. Probably 90% of the trails are open. We've got one or two that we've got some grid dam damage on. Uh, as far as the restroom facilities, they're good to go. The George Observatory was not impacted at all. Our nature center and our headquarters building were high and dry during the flood. One of the biggest threats that we get from these floods is there, like this, is exotic invaders. Whether it's exotic fish species, whether it's exotic plant species that don't belong here. So we did have this, this big introduction of some aquatic vegetation, uh, water hyacinth that we're trying to get a handle on right now. So visitors may see some of that, but that's probably the biggest threat, biggest long-term threat that we get from these floods. Alligators all over Brazos Bend. How about the flooding? How is it, has it caused problems for the alligator population? Probably the biggest impact was is the timing of the flood was right at the timing at the beginning of alligator nesting season. With the water level so high, when those females went to nest, they built their nests in some really strange places. Female alligators diligently defend those nests, so having those nests where we have a lot of public is just not a safe place, not a safe thing to do. In those situations, what we do is we go in and we rob those alligator eggs, we bring them here and we incubate them at our nature center. Currently incubating about 70 alligator eggs here at the nature center. They should hatch in late August or early September. We'll keep a few of them here for display in our nature center. The rest of the hatchlings will find another mother alligator with the hatchlings and we'll just mix them in with hers. Interestingly enough, the only part of the park that I actually found that was closed has nothing to do with the flooding whatsoever. There was a planned utility upgrade here in the screen shelter area, but they're wrapping that up. They hope to have them open again soon. Check their website for the latest information. At Brazos Bend State Park, I'm meteorologist John Dawson.